on just how to put together your first Premier project and sort of get going out of the gate here. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to locate down here at the bottom your finder, which is this little guy down here. I'm going to click on him. And he's going to open up this window. I'm going to look down my left-hand side and I'm going to find Creative Cloud files. And these are all the files that you're going to be able to use through your Creative Cloud app and then in any of the apps within the Creative Cloud suite like Premiere. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to create a new folder for your project. So I'm making this Waldo project here. So I called it Waldo project. And I pulled in all the movie clips that I want to use for my Waldo project. Plus I found some uh, music here called uh, Joyce, uh, Joyce Doc, the catchy tune and also Bippy Trance in case I want to use that. So anything that's going to be in here, uh, I'm going to use this Waldo project folder. And again, it's important that it's inside this Creative Cloud area right here. All right, so I can go ahead and close that up. Now, I'm going to open up Premiere, which is this icon down here, Premiere Pro 2020, right? Make sure that you're using the most updated version. I'm going to say New Project. I'm going to click on that. There we go. Up here in the corner, I'm going to call my project Waldo Demo, right? Uh, and maybe sometimes it doesn't like all caps. I'm going to go Waldo, and I'm going to say, let's go back here. There we go, Waldo Demo. Then I'm going to search up. So this is my folder here. I have favorites start here with Creative Cloud, which you can definitely do. Uh, if not, uh, you can look around in the sidebar here and see if it's located down here. Uh, you'll see that this takes us to all sorts of different places here. If I click on my home button, I can look here and I can find my Creative Cloud files, which is right here. So I'm going to double click on that. Then I'm going to take a look here for my Waldo project. Here it is right here. So I'm going to double click on that. And then I can see up here at the top, this is the, um, the pathway that I took, right? And again, you can see at any moment I can star it. So if I click the star, it'll put it over here on the side. So when I was at Creative Cloud Files here like this, see the way I start it? That way it'll come up every time over here on this side when I'm looking for my files, which is super, uh, super handy. All right, so again, Waldo Project. Then from here, I'm going to select everything. So there's my music. Here is my video clips. I'm going to click on all these clips here. Uh, and for this demo, I'm not going to bring them all in, but I'm going to bring in a clip. So you'll see them lining up down here at the bottom. I'm clicking all the clips. I got it all set. Uh, I got it here. Yes, 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 yes. You can scale the size and all that other stuff that we don't worry about. Then I'm going to come down here to this corner and I'm going to say create. And give it one second. There we go. And I've created a new project. Now, some of the stuff it wants to fill in automatically. So see how it threw all the clips in here? Um, I don't want to necessarily start with all these clips in here, so I'm just going to click in this window here where I highlight it. I'm going to say Command A on my keyboard. That uh, selected everything, and I'm going to say Delete. So I just emptied out that project here. So now this is my timeline. So V stands for video. This is where the video clips go. A stands for audio. When they're highlighted in blue, that means that they're active. When they're not highlighted here, so see, I can turn this off and I can turn this on. That means I can only work into each one of those, or you can lock them up, but this is actually just a faster way to toggle um, usage. Here's our toolbar down here. There's another demo that I have for tools. So I'm not going to go through all those. You really only need this selection tool right now to get started. Um, and then over here on the left-hand corner over here, you'll see this is all my video clips here. When I select a clip uh, and I double click on it, it's going to open up here in the preview window over here. I can play this clip and I can preview it. I can slide my slider here, and I can look at all my footage. All right, when I'm ready to put something down here in the timeline, the easiest way to do that is to find the clip up here, drag this to where I want this to begin, which is gonna be right here. I'm gonna click on this guy right here, which is the end point. I'm gonna drag this over to the right, over here. Maybe the reaching arm is a good place to cut it off, so then I'm gonna put my out point right here, mark out. Like that. And then you can see this part here is highlighted in gray. Then I'm going to come over here. This inserts it in there or this overwrites. And where it's going to put that is right wherever this, uh, oops, wherever the playhead is here. This guy right here. All right. So I'm going to start it here at the end. I'm going to say insert. There's my clip right down here at the bottom. I can see that's my first video. So if I pull this to the left and the right, that's my first little clip right there. If I need this to be larger down here, this bar at the bottom, if I grab this circle and I pull it, it's going to extend my clips. I can also navigate the timeline with this slider here, this slider over here. If I pull down on it, 
going to make my video clips a little bigger so I can actually see what they are. Same thing with the audio here. If I need to see the waveforms, I can pull that down just a little bit like that. All right, so then I'm just going to go through my list here. I'm going to double click and I'm going to select my in and out points of these clips. So maybe, I don't know, right there, here, and then I'm going to move to here and I'm going to do something like that. Then I'm going to hit the uh, insert, but I want my playhead to be where it's supposed to be. And you notice that I'm clicking on these windows and it's outlining them in blue because I have to select the area that I'm working in. I'm going to use the up arrow on my keyboard and I'm going to bring that playhead back up and down arrow on the keyboard, move it from clip to clip. I'm going to hit the insert button right here. And I just inserted my next clip just like that. Now let's say I want to put something in between here. I'm going to use my down arrow. Oops, sorry, got to highlight the window. Uh, up arrow, sorry, not down arrow. I'm going to use my up arrow and I'm going to jump backwards. Then I'm going to find my next clip, like so. I'm going to, again, mark my points where I want it, like here. So that's that point, and I'm going to mark it here, and I'm going to say just like that. Uh, and then I'm going to insert it, and I hit the insert button, and it automatically pushed that other clip over, and it put this piece right in here. So again, you're going to keep going. You're going to trim. You're going to make everything the way you want it. Uh, you can select clips down here, and you can move them physically, or you can use some of the other tools. The other thing is you can use your, uh, your move tool here, and you can actually transform the clips a little bit too by dragging them larger and smaller and, and do some editing. So that's kind of like the beginnings of what you're going to work on here, right? Now, um, once you get all your clips in here, everything's in its place, we want to put a little bit of black on the front and the back of this so that um, our project has, like you sort of ease into it. You don't want the video to just start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tool here and I'm going to select my tracks. I'm going to move everything forward a little bit. And this is going to give me a little bit of black right here at the beginning of this space right here. All right, so that's my... Uh, intro part right there. The next thing I'm going to use is my uh, text tool, which is this guy right here. I'm going to select my particular clip here that I want my text to be on. I'm going to draw a little text box like so, and I'm going to type uh, the type of shot that it is. And I'm going to call this um, linking shot. There you go. So here I can use my moving tool again here, and I can transform this box so it's a little bit more the proper size. I can move this over here a little bit just like that. Now, depending on what kind of font and stuff you want over here, I'm going to come over here to where it says effects control. And I can see here that it opens up this menu. I drop down here and I can see this is the type of text that I'm using, the font style. I can see down here, this is the color of my text. This is some other Microsoft wordy sort of stuff as you're justifying your font and all that sort of other business. But uh, that's that. And this is the font size here, uh, 100. Uh, but I can also, if I want to, I can change here with this vector motion. I can just change the overall scale of it and I can also make it larger this way. So if I grab this and I drag it to the right, you can see it makes it larger and it makes it smaller. So here I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna grab it. I can move it around to where it belongs in a good spot here. Not like that, looks okay. Uh, I can also, these are my positioning controls here. So if I slide these, I can also sort of position them just like so. All right, so let's click on, let's close that down. Let's click on here. Let's see if I can change the font here. There we go. So I like that, maybe a little better. But you can see the font doesn't fit in the text box. So I'm going to have to make this bigger before, there we go. It fits in there. I'm going to bring it down. And I'm going to make it fit just like that. All right, so down here in this window, I can see that that's my text here. And I can make this so it fits here. And I'm going to start it right here. So as the playhead plays over top of this space on the top, that's where the words appear. All right, and then if I want this to happen again here, I just move my playhead over here. I click on this, uh, you know, like again, I'm activating things. I'm clicking on this guy right here. I'm going to say edit copy, and then I'm going to paste it right up here. But what I might have to do, let's see if it just pastes in that right spot. Let's see, edit paste. Yeah, so see how it wanted to copy over here because it's copying it into the active lane right here. I'm going to say undo, and I'm going to make this lane uh, active. What did I just do? I made it invisible. Hold on. I click the eyeball. Uh, oh, I locked it. That's what I did. I'm sorry. So let's see if I turn on that uh, second one here. If I say paste again, edit, paste. 
No, huh. So I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna say edit paste one more time. There we go, now paste it in the right spot. I don't know why it's being so ornery and pasting it on top. So then I'm just gonna adjust this like so. I'm gonna put my playhead over the top so I can see this says linking shot and this says linking shot. But if I wanted to say something different, I could double click here and I could say uh, pan shot, right, or panning, panning shot. Uh, I'll just call it pan shot so it fits. So that way, it starts in the same position as that other piece, right? So they're all sort of in the same area right there, which is kind of cool. And again, you can mess around with the justification and all that stuff. So that's what you're going to do here. You're going to, I'm going to uh, copy this one more time. I'm going to come up here to the front and I'm going to say paste. I'm going to make this smaller and I'm going to call this, um, I don't know, this could be like my intro shot here. So let's bring the playhead over top. And I'm going to erase that, I'm going to erase this, and I'm going to say intro. And this one I'm going to move here. And I'm going to put that right in the middle right there like that. So now when I play my movie, I hit the space bar. It says intro. And it shows my first clip. All right, you can hear some noise in the background, which I don't like. So I'm going to get rid of that in just a minute. Okay, there's my other shot. And then there's my pan shot right there at the end. All right, so to get rid of this audio, I'm just gonna grab these levels and I'm just gonna drag them down to zero. And that way we won't hear any audio at all on that sequence right there. All right, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this blue past the outside edge of my project because this is actually the true ending of my project so that um, you know the project ends here past where the video stops here. And again, I'm gonna come out to this point here. I'm gonna say paste. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. I'm going to move my playhead here and I'm going to say uh, the end. All right, I'm going to put that here. I'm going to bring this up here in the middle again. So now it'll play here. It'll say the end. And it'll play to here. And I'm going to actually, let's make this just a little bit longer. All right, gang, we're almost home free. So that's pretty much it, right? And then the, the part I'm leaving out is a lot of the careful editing and making sure that the clips are the right length and all that sort of good stuff. But you're getting the idea of how to use the tool. And the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this music and I'm going to throw it underneath. So I'm going to start it. Uh, I'm going to start it when my, when my credit starts. The music's not going to start until it says intro like that. But now we'll see that this music is way too long. Look at that, way out this way. All right, so I'm going to shrink my field of view a little bit, just like this. I'm going to go under my tools here and I'm going to use my remix tool. I'm going to grab the end of this and I'm going to bring it all the way in to the end of my project, just like that. And what it's going to do, it's pretty amazing, is it is going to, you can see this black box down here, right? It just modified. And it's going to edit the song so that it fits my project. And maybe let's bring it a little smaller here. I was too zoomed out before. Uh, will it re-remix? Maybe not. Maybe it's going to be ornery because I already remixed it once. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to say Command Z, which is undo, and I'm going to. I'm just going to have to scroll over and see it here. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to bring it this way. If I sort of drag it to the left, it'll move. I'm just waiting for the video to show up here. A long way and I'm gonna stop it right here at the end there we go oh, so I guess it's just gonna drag it past it anyways so now let's give it a listen here there you go now it's too loud you can see these red things over here are capping out at red and we don't want that to happen uh, and the other thing about this is you should always trust your eyes and not your ears. And you're going to look and you're going to want these levels to bounce right below that zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab, uh, actually use my tool here. I'm going to grab this line right here and I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. And that reduces the audio a little bit. And then I'm going to play it again. And now I can see I brought that level way down like that. All right, maybe that's a little too soft, so I'm going to bring it up a little bit. 
And I'm just going to mess with my guy. There you go. And then if the music goes up this far, I just want to make sure that this bar is all the way out that way. All right. And that's about it. So that's your video from uh, start to finish.